So you guys want to download what? This file called Siri and Six from this week, course website. Okay, again, the file is called Siri Six. Okay, and you find names, gender, Siri Six, and age. Okay, if you see male, John, you encode by one, encoding coded by one. You see Peter, male, coded by one. Eric, male, it coded by one. Mary is zero, it coded by zero. This is what we call a baseline coding, okay? And the baseline group in this coding is what? It's female. Okay, let's look at the R Studio. In R Studio, you see four different window. This is called a script window. This is called console window. And this one is called a global environment window. And this window is for, for help, more information, and what? You make a prop, you see graph here, okay? Four different window. To import the file that we just placed on the desktop. This is what I ask you to do, okay? You want to what? Click on import data set. Okay, after we import the file, Siri and six, okay, the file. We want to what? We want to create new variable, easy for us to run regression analysis, okay? So let's see, I think, okay, I think, um, let me put, um, gender, G as gender, okay, G as gender. Why well, put the whole word gender, okay? And I import, Um, I import the file from what, what? I import the data from the file I just what? Upload, okay? This is the file name. Copy and paste here. And then I place a dollar sign. Automatically, it will pop out what? The option you have, okay? Uh, gender, I want what? I want to choose from what? From gender, okay? Uh, probably not that great if I use both what? The same name. So I want to change it a little bit. I call this is G. G means what? G means gender, okay? And please press control and enter, okay? Press control enter. After press control and enter, you find there is a new variable created here called gender, okay? It's called gender here. It's a numerical data type, okay? And six, 16 entry, one, 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 zero, all that, okay? Now, next one, salary. S-A-L is salary, okay? And I import the file from the import data set, okay? And place a dollar sign. That means uh, I want import, refer to the information from this variable, salary, okay? And then just like before, I press enter. A in the environment window, you find Siri is listed here, okay? So up to this moment, up to this moment, we already successful in poor one, gender and Siri. And gender, as you can see information here, 1110. Male I place as one, female I place as zero. 
this is called the baseline coding, okay? And what I want to do next is I want to run the regression analysis, okay? And standard R codes for the operation. If you want to know more information about linear model, what you can do is place a, a question mark, okay? Place a question mark. And you put LN. LN means linear model. Console enter. Okay, and then on the lower right hand corner window, it will give you a detailed ex explanation about all parameter and its functionality, okay? Arguments, you can see here, okay? But we are not going to play that complicated. We just run what? The basic ones. And MOD this variable, I enter information from what? From running linear regression model. And my Y, the dependent variable, the response is what? Is salary. And regression against what? Regression against the gender. I put G here. Okay. I press Ctrl Enter. And I put summary. S U M M. If something pop out, always use the something pop out, okay? Because that way guarantee there's no typing mistake. I put what? I want to list information that's stored in module, MOD, okay? Running linear regression model, Y theory and G is gender. Try to use gender to explain what? Theory, okay? And summary means I want to summary the outcome, okay? Press Ctrl Enter. What kind of information we can get from these uh, R printouts? Okay, please look at here. This is what? This is beta not head. Okay, and this number here is beta one head. So the equation is salary equal to beta not head plus beta one head times what? Gender. Okay, and this number fifty six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and beta one twenty thousand three hundred seventy five dollars. Okay. And what's the interpretation for these two numbers in our case, okay? Um, interpretation, beta not head equal to 56, 750. This is the average annual income, or you say salary. of women in our data set, okay? If this is well chosen, you can use this one to estimate what? Huh? Beta not, okay? Beta not. That's average annual income of women. Okay, but this is just reflects this averages from our data set. Okay, 
And what is our beta one hat? That is what? 20,375 dollars a year, okay? The meaning of beta one head, that is the, the salary difference. between male and female in the data set. But we use this one to estimate what? Right? The population difference, okay? And what is beta not head cross beta one head? If we add these two number. Okay, 77,125 dollars, okay? This is the average annual income. Of male group. Okay. We use this one to estimate what? Population male income. So after you find this, what can you say? You say, well, average female income is about 56 what? $1,750. Average male income is $77,125 a year. And beta one stands for what? The average difference between male group and female group income, okay? Uh, this is uh, significant higher, but I have to say, um, in our society, indeed, male make more money than female, okay? Because, not because female are less capable of making money. Female, female have, have what? Family responsibility. They take care of the babies, okay? Take care of our families. If they really want to work, a lot of women, they only work what? Part-time, okay? Baseline coding, male, we use one, female, we call, use zero. Whichever group you use zero, that become your baseline group, okay? And beta nut is what? Average income for what? Baseline group. And beta one plus beta nut is the average income of what? The other group. And beta one is what? The difference between the two groups, okay? Now, some people may ask, if male use zero, female use one, can I do that? Well, of course you can do that. But if you do that, the beta one will be a negative number, okay? Will be a negative number because male make more money than female. So if you make male group as a baseline group, if you put male is zero, this become baseline group. And female is one, then you find this parameter beta one is a negative number, okay? Now, let's look at alternative coding method. Gender, if male is one and female is minus one, okay? What happened then, okay? What happened then? Let's look at salary is equal to beta naught plus beta one gender. Okay, gender. So when gender is male, when G is one, you plug in one here, okay? That is beta naught plus beta one. If G is what? Minus one, that means female. It becomes beta naught minus one times beta one, minus beta one, okay? In this case, okay, in this case, if you add them together,
this two turn cancel. So we have what? Hmm? Beta naught plus beta one plus beta naught minus beta one. So when you combine them together, this term beta one cancel with minus beta one. This become two beta naught. Okay. And then if you divide it by two. divided by two, you get what? You get beta naught, okay? So the beta naught is called what? The green mean. What is the green mean? Green mean means when you put men and women together, When you put men and women together, okay, the average huh, income average income in men and women, okay, average income is what is beta nut, okay, is beta nut. And what is beta one? What is beta one? Beta one is a departure. Of average male income. From the green mean. Okay. And what is minus beta one? Minus beta one is the departure. of average female income from the green mean. And this alternative coding method, okay, the above is called what? Differential coding. Okay, this is another way we can do the coding and solve the question. 